What's up you guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Olivia and today I'm sharing an extreme small kitchen organization on a budget. I will be sharing some of my favorite Amazon kitchen organizational must-haves and also sharing how I deep clean, declutter, and organize this space. If you are ready to see how I transform this kitchen, then give this video a thumbs up, hit that red subscribe button, and let's jump right on into it. As you all saw, I just shared a few before shots of the target areas that I will be focusing on today, our small apartment sized pantry, the kitchen fridge, and the spice cabinet. If you guys want to see the after results, then make sure to stay tuned until the very end of today's video. The transformations are insane and I cannot wait to share them with you guys. I'm going to start with the largest project and that is the one that's most daunting so I can get it out of the way and that's going to be our pantry. Since we moved in here last beginning of August, I never really organized this space. I always told myself I would get around to it and here we are like six months later, but on the bright side, I am finally getting around to it. So first I'm just gonna remove everything from this top part of the pantry. There are two sections and I will be getting to both, but I'm gonna start from the top and just work my way down. As you guys can see, this area is very dirty. So I'm just gonna quickly vacuum up the crumbs just to honestly make my life easier. And then I'm gonna wipe everything down using my Caldrea Multi-Surface Spray. This top section of our pantry, we kept a lot of like canned goods, cereal, pasta, etc. So right now I'm just trying to organize everything into groups of similar items. We have a lot of cans of corn and green beans and soup. So I'm doing my best to line everything up and just keep them all in their own groups just so that it makes it a lot easier to organize when I'm putting everything back. This brings me to my first Amazon must have for kitchen organization. If you have a small kitchen like I do, or maybe even just a small space that you're trying to organize, then you need to look into these and get one of the large white wire shelves that I have here. It is a great way to add layers to your space. Instead of stacking these cans on top of each other, I use this shelf to kind of separate and allow the space to be more functional. This way I'm not moving cans all over the place and trying to sort through them when I need one specific can. I can easily see what I have without having to move things all over the place if that makes any sense. I've had this exact one for quite a few years now and it has held up great. Another great Amazon must have for organization in any space really are these clear plastic bins. I love, love, love these for organizational purposes and I have a ton throughout our home. I purchased some from HomeGoods, TJ Maxx, of course, Amazon. You can find them pretty much anywhere. These are great to use in the pantry, especially if you store things like instant potatoes and rice that you use as like side dishes. They are also great at holding packages of muffin mix or maybe seasoning packets. There are just so many uses and I love that they are clear so you can see exactly what's inside them. I know containers like this that I'm putting the rice in can be pretty expensive, but I did not go out and just buy a ton of them for this project. I always had them on like my birthday lists or Christmas lists, or I would just buy them one at a time. And eventually I built up a nice stock of them. They are just so great at keeping your food from getting stale. And to be honest, they also make your pantry look super organized and aesthetically pleasing. And a really quick tip when you store something like brown rice, I always like to cut off the directions and tape it to the back just so that I don't forget any measurements or any of the directions. These are also very popular, so I will link the ones from Amazon, but definitely search around until you find something you love and also within your budget. Now I can finally get started on the lower portion of our pantry. Just a reminder to stay tuned until the very end because that is when I'm gonna be sharing the satisfying before and after shots. 
but right now I'm just removing everything from the first two shelves here. I'm not really going to touch the bottom two just because we're using that as storage and there's really no reason for me to pull them out. These round glass jars are my absolute favorite for kitchen organization. I have some of these in different sizes and I use the large one for our Nespresso pods. You can get these with or without suction on the lids and I do want to mention that I'm going to have a link to a lot of great options in the description box and most of it will be from Amazon but I know I've purchased a jar exactly like this from Walmart for I think around $10 so do your research if you guys are looking for a jar like this. Just like I did in the top portion of our pantry, I'm just kind of categorizing things into piles and then using these baskets that I've had for many years. I think the white ones I actually got from the Dollar Tree and the lined basket. I honestly have no idea where it came from, but I think if you get anything out of today's video for organization is that baskets and bins are your best friend when it comes to organizing. While going through all the food in our pantry, I did throw everything that was either expired or just not worth saving and our trash can is filled to the top. So I did grab a new trash bag and I'm just going to kind of start filling that up and then moving on to the next space. Now we are moving on to the fridge and just like I did with our pantry, I am tossing any old leftovers or food that is expired. I love but hate doing this because I feel like it honestly is such a waste, but at the same time, I love having a fresh clean fridge if any of you guys can relate to that please let me know down below in the comments One item that I love using in our fridge to kind of organize, but it's not necessarily needed. It just kind of makes everything look a little nicer. It is this clear plastic egg carton. It is a better deal on Amazon. I noticed if you buy the two pack, otherwise they are around seven or $10 a piece. So the two pack for 15 is definitely a better deal. I know I purchased mine, I think at home goods or TJ Maxx and it was around five or $6. So definitely check out different stores until you find exactly what you're looking for and at the price that you need. Getting rid of leftovers it makes for a ton of dishes, as you guys can imagine. So I'm going to take some time to load up our dishwasher and just clear the sink out a little bit. The next project that I have requires a lot of sink space, and I have been wanting to do this for many, many months now, but I have just not made the time. For like the past year or two, I've been wanting to get these glass spice jars because I think they look so pretty when they're all lined up. So when Marshall and I got married, we actually put a set from Amazon on our registry and we ended up getting them from a friend of ours. And it is obviously well overdue because our wedding was like six months ago, but it is time to break them out and finally get the spices switched over. So right now I'm just taking them all apart and soaking them in hot soapy water to get them clean. I will link the exact set that we got down below in the description box and for the price I think it is really affordable because they come with 24 jars along with spice labels for the sides and then also blank round ones for the top and also it comes with a nice funnel to transfer your spices. This set also has over 10,000 reviews on Amazon so you know that it's a really good and quality product.
Once I got all of these spice jars washed, it was time for me to call it a night. I did film over the course of two days because I am sure you guys can imagine this was exhausting. And after working my full-time job all day, I just didn't have it in me to keep going and get it all done in one day. I gave myself a little grace and in the end, I was able to tackle everything that I wanted to. Even though I'm rocking this same hairstyle as the day prior, I promise it is the next day and we are tackling the rest of this kitchen. Yesterday we left off washing all the spice jars and today they are of course all dry and ready to be filled. Another fun organizational tip that I wanted to share, it's not actually from Amazon, but they are just too good not to share. I purchased these off an Etsy shop and I'll make sure to link that shop down below in the description box, but they just make these super cute spice and pantry labels. These are definitely not needed when you're organizing your kitchen because the ones from Amazon, the ones that come with the jars, they are just fine. I had just saw these on like a sponsored Instagram post and it got me, I had to have them. I'm just really excited to finally make use of them and see how they all looked lined up next to each other. One thing that I did that you could consider maybe budget friendly or just making use of what I have, but a few of the spice jars that I purchased from Target were already in glass jars. So instead of like transferring them to another glass jar so they're all in the exact same glass jar, I just went ahead and peeled off the Target label and I added the white label so they all, at least the labels match. The jars are a little bit bigger, but in hindsight, it doesn't really matter. As you can see, there were a few spices that I didn't end up putting in the jars, not because I didn't have a sticker or a jar for them, but because the original spice jars were just much larger and not all of the contents would fit into the small glass containers. But right now I'm just gonna finish removing everything from this spice cabinet. I'm gonna wipe it all down and then begin organizing. Along with the spices, I also keep a lot of our baking supplies and large measuring cups in here. This metal spice rack is another great organizational must have. I have had this for a very long time and I wish I could remember where I got this exact one, but I do know that Amazon has very similar options. All you have to do is type in metal spice rack in the search box and a ton of results come up. You could even search for wood or clear spice rack just depending on your style. I am also a huge fan of Lazy Susans, especially for kitchen organization. And this is another item that you can get for a pretty affordable price. Amazon had so many different styles and colors to fit anyone's needs. There were a few glass spice jars that I didn't end up using, so right now I'm just gonna put the caps and lids on them and then store them back in the box that they came in. Then once to show you my intention, my brain gets blocked at times, but now 
Somehow I'll give you my attention You've got to know that I I ain't a person who understands All the clockwork of our romance You make me feel so alive Always there in my mind But I just don't know I just don't know if I'll dance with the light now it's time to get this kitchen cleaned up and back in order. I have a lot of stuff that needs to be put away. And then before I went to bed last night, I also ran the dishwasher. So today we are going to be emptying it and loading it right back up with more dirty dishes. While I get this dishwasher unloaded, I just want to mention that although I'm sharing a lot of Amazon must-haves for organization, please do not feel like you need to go out and buy all of it or feel like you can only organize your space if you have these things. Besides the Etsy stickers for the spices, I did not go out and purchase anything for the sake of this video. Everything that I shared today, these are things that I already had and I love using. So the whole goal or point of today's video is not to make you feel like you need this stuff but more so just to give you ideas for what you could use to help organize your space. If you guys like these style videos, I know it's a little bit different than what I normally share. Please give this video a thumbs up and just let me know down below in the comments. They are definitely a lot more work to put together, but if it is something you guys wanna see more of, then I will do my best to share more of this style video in the future. There were a few dishes that of course didn't fit in the dishwasher so I'm quickly just going to get those washed up by hand. We still have a little more cleaning to tackle and then the satisfying before and after shots of everything that we organized are coming up so make sure you guys stay tuned until the very end. If you guys have been around for a while then you know that I make it well known that I hate washing dishes by hand but I will be honest I absolutely love when they are all done and you are left with a nice clean empty sink now it's time to get all the counters and stove wiped off and then get the dishes put away I promise we are almost wrapped up with all the cleaning and then the before and after shots will be shared <laughs> While I finished cleaning, I just placed another order on Grove Collaborative and it was well overdue because I am running out of a lot of things. I picked up some more of the dishwasher pods because, well, it would not be a happy day if we ran out of those because I would have to hand wash everything. I also purchased some more dish soap and multi-surface spray. I am really sad though because they were out of the Caldrea Gilded Birch Scent, so I did go with the... Uh, what's it called rose and driftwood or something like that i know i love that scent as well because i have the room spray but i was just loving the gilded birch i also purchased a few other random cleaning supplies let me know when that gets delivered if you guys want to see a haul in one of my upcoming videos just leave me a comment down below because i think that would be kind of fun and a little bit different Found myself in between the lines Underneath your bed sheets It started fun But now I'm into deep into this flow A zero sum game that I will lose There's no sipping past it Every time you walk away from me I want you How could I want you more? Oh, when did I lose my perspective? Oh God, have I lost it? My cravings for you so shameless Can't get enough I've lost you But I need you And you're off my radar now I've lost you Telling you that I need you But you're off
off my radar now I'm like an outcast from pillar to post There's no denial, I'm chasing ghosts I'm like an outcast from pillar to post Hitting you up, but I'm stuck on hold This is really a bad reception some of you might be surprised to see this new piece of decor in our apartment. My work actually gives each employee funds to allocate towards different things, and one of them is fitness. And since gyms are closed and it's also freezing cold here in Minnesota, I figured it was the perfect opportunity to take advantage and order a stationary bike. I ordered it on Amazon and it was super easy to put together. So in case any of you guys are interested, I will have it linked down below in the description box. But with that being said, that is gonna wrap up today's video. The before and after shots are coming up next and I really do hope you all find the transformations as satisfying as I do. Definitely a lot of work, but totally worth it. Like I mentioned at the beginning of today's video, these were the spaces in our kitchen that really needed some serious help, which is kind of why we targeted those specifically today. There are still other areas to tackle, so make sure you guys hit that red subscribe button if you want to see more and turn on your bell notifications if you want to be reminded the next time my videos go live. I hope you all really have a great rest of your day. I hope you enjoyed today's video and I hope it motivated you to get up and get cleaning. Have a great rest of your weekend and I will see you all in my next video. Bye. Got it all figured out.